Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're ever in the Portland, Oregon area, head to Bob's Red Mill. It's in the suburb of Milwaukee, but it's just adjacent to Portland. Bob's Red Mill is a fantastic place to find all kinds of natural grains and gluten-free products. They have very high quality, top quality, and the thing that surprised me the most on this trip was that the bins were open. During the coronavirus and COVID-19, I have not seen bulk bins available anywhere. They disappeared, but here they are at Bob's Red Mill. You can get all types of grains, beans, seeds, and I was very excited to see they're selling five gallon buckets and gamma lids, which is perfect if you wanna do long-term food storage. You can go right to Bob's Red Mill, get your bucket, you can even buy canning jars and you can fill them up with the things that you want for your pantry. Bob's Red Mill also has a restaurant for breakfast and lunch. You go up to the counter, order what you want. There's some beautiful outdoor seating this time of year where we sat. There's also seating inside upstairs, but I didn't go up there because the outside was such a beautiful day to enjoy sitting outside and the scenery is wonderful. There is some traffic noise though because it's next to a busy road, but it's hard to imagine any place more special than this when you're sitting enjoying a delicious fresh meal. Look at that Northwest Brulee Bowl. Oatmeal with blueberries, bananas, sugar, and flaxseed meal. Whole grain biscuit and sage country gravy. Look at that. It's topped with crumbled sausage. And when I first saw it, I thought maybe that was the oatmeal bowl and those were big chunks of brown sugar. But that's the sausage. I had the cilantro lime chicken bowl with quinoa, baby spinach, pepper jack cheese, heirloom tomatoes, grilled corn, pumpkin seeds, and citrus vinaigrette. And oh my goodness, was that ever delicious. What are the products that I bought at Bob's Red Mill? I bought some stone ground cornbread and muffin mix. They had all kinds of gluten-free mixes as well, which is nice if that's something that you're looking for. I bought two different kinds of granola, honey oat and regular, and the soup mixes are fantastic. I bought a 13 bean soup mix, whole grain and bean soup mix, and a veggie soup mix. They're all non-GMO, they're high in fiber. Everything is well packaged in sturdy bags with Ziploc tops. If you're not gonna use them immediately, it's easy to store them right in your pantry in that container. I plan to store some of the Bob's Red Mill soup mixes for longer term, so I'm gonna take them out and put them into a clean canning jar and then they can last and last. They're similar to what you might get with a, say a Bear Creek soup mix that you just add water and you simmer it. But these you need to cook for a lot longer than the Bear Creek soup mixes because they're more bountiful, more big pieces of food that need to cook longer. If you look on the back of the cornbread, you need water, egg, and oil. And it also has a way for you to make it into cornbread muffins if you prefer. If you look on the back of the soup mixes, it tells you the basic cooking instructions and it also gives you another recipe for how you can make them even better and a bigger, more filling meal. A serving size is one quarter cup and each of the bags includes 15 servings. The usual stovetop basic instructions are to rinse your one cup of soup mix Place it in the large pot with three cups of water, bring it to a boil, and simmer it for 60 to 90 minutes. Then you can add in any other vegetables or seasonings that you desire. You can also cook them in the slow cooker crock pot or something like an instant pot or a multi-cooker. I was surprised that the slow cooker adds more water than stove top because in my experience it's usually the other way around. More water evaporates from the stove top than the slow cooker. So we'll see. If you wanted to turn the 13 bean soup into chili, you would add your bean mix with some oil, an onion, garlic, chili powder, water, ground beef, pepper, and tomato sauce. The directions are on the back so it's easy to follow. If you wanted to turn the whole grains and bean soup mix into a red bean chicken curry soup, which is my daughter's favorite, you would use olive oil, chicken breast, onion, garlic, garam masala, 
curry powder, chicken broth, bay leaves, and the soup mix. So if you wanted to make the red bean chicken curry soup, the only unusual ingredient you would need would be the garam masala and the curry powder. Everything else is the normal types of foods that you would have in your pantry. The veggie soup mix is a blend of green split peas, yellow split peas, barley, lentils, and pasta. One cup of mix and simmer it in a pot with four cups of water and then that's all you need to do but you can add more vegetables and seasonings if you desire. So it's a ready to go meal you can have in your prepper pantry or you can jazz it up any way you want. There's even a classic vegetable soup recipe on the back where you can add onion, carrots, celery, garlic, vegetable broth, diced tomatoes, parsley, bay leaves, zucchini, and pepper. You can see there's a window on the side of the package so you can see what's in it. And yes, some of the ingredients do look the same, but there is a variety, so read the ingredients so that you know which one you want. The labels are color-coded to help you find what you're looking for. The veggie mixes are green, the grains are orange, and the beans are a dark red. The bean soup has 29 ounces, the whole grain and beans has 26 ounces, and the veggie soup mix has 28 ounces. I bought another pack of the gluten-free vegan egg replacer. This is great if you want to have a shelf-stable eggs for your prepper pantry. You can use it in all of your baking needs. It's not like powdered eggs that you would mix up to eat eggs, but you would use it in your baking it's the equivalent to 34 eggs in this one little pouch. I almost forgot to show you my organic premium shelled pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are absolutely delicious to add to quinoa bowls and sprinkle over other things. They're crunchy, yummy, and nutritious. They're non-GMO, just like everything else, and they're USDA organic. That's what's nice about seeing through the package. You can see the quality of what you're getting. So it's a 12 ounce package and you can see the best by date is July 2023. So these are going to last nearly two years. Look on the website for more ideas of how you can use their products. They're all very high quality, non-GMO and many of the products like I said are gluten free. So you just need to read on the packages to find the items that you want. You can find the one-on-one -on -one ratio of gluten-free flour that, that's one-on-one -on -one the same measure as regular flour, which I think is ideal because figuring out how to substitute for gluten-free flour can be a real challenge. So if you get a chance to visit Bob's Red Mill, check it out. And you can also look for their products in grocery stores. I found some of them available at Fred Meyers in Alaska, but nowhere near the variety that you can find in their store. Check out the Bob's Red Mill products. They might be just the thing you want to add to your prepper pantry, especially if you have special gluten-free dietary needs. All of these products came with a sell-by date that was at least several years in the future. So it's something that can last in your prepper pantry, and if you store it better, it can last even longer. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.